At the height of the Second World War, the Allied powers began encountering terrifying new technology and weapons under the command of an autonomous division of the Schutzstaffel known as Hydra. In response, the Allies turned to the Strategic Scientific Reserve to counter Hydra's ambitions and develop secret weapons of their own. The end of the war brought with it new insights as to the nature of the universe and humanity's place within it. To protect mankind from whatever threats yet undiscovered, the Strategic Scientific Reserve was restructured into the Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division, better known as SHIELD. At its inception, SHIELD was an American-led organization based solely in the United States. By the modern age, it had become critical enough to the defense of the Earth to warrant international oversight. The World Security Council, formed from politicians and specialists from the Earth's most powerful nations, functioned as SHIELD's highest authority. Its status as a wholly independent and autonomous committee, however, meant that its goals often clashed with those of the organization it was intended to oversee. The World Security Council was often misled or even outright ignored by SHIELD's internal director, who, in practice, was the person most responsible for guiding the entire organization. Directors could fundamentally alter SHIELD's priorities as the situation dictated, and had access to the most technologically advanced equipment on the planet. The largest and most powerful assets available to SHIELD were its helicarriers, enormous aircraft carriers capable of sustained, independently powered flight. Various classes of helicarrier were introduced over SHIELD's history, each serving as mobile bases which could support and direct a variety of operations and mission types. Modern variants have been equipped with retro-reflective panels across their hulls, making them invisible to the human eye when necessary. Conventional F-35 Lightning II multi-role fighters and other military aircraft were assigned to helicarriers, supplementing more advanced designs exclusive to SHIELD. The Quinjet was first among these, combining the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range high-speed cruise performance of a jet aircraft. Quinjets were capable of unprecedented maneuverability and typically used to transport and then extract SHIELD agents and teams. Larger aircraft based elsewhere included modified C-17 Globemasters and the Zephyr-1, which served as a mobile headquarters for smaller SHIELD units. On the ground, teams were further outfitted with a wide variety of SHIELD-designed or enhanced vehicles, weapons, or more specialized equipment. So far-reaching was SHIELD's mission, and so critical that it succeed, that the organization operated everything from highly advanced drones, requisitioned naval ships, and even orbital satellites with the accompanying support facilities. SHIELD bases operated on every continent, providing safe houses, research labs, containment cells, and any other facilities that might be required. Many of these were formally operated by the Strategic Scientific Reserve or other elements of the armed forces, while a select few were purpose-built with SHIELD in mind. Triskelion was one such facility, built on the Potomac River between Washington, D.C. and Virginia. Triskelion would serve as SHIELD's primary headquarters for most of its modern history, and home to some of its most secretive projects. In 2012, SHIELD was finally revealed to the public in the wake of the Battle of New York, in which an invasion by the alien Chitari was successfully and dramatically repulsed by a SHIELD-affiliated team known as the Avengers. Composed of some of the most powerful individuals located on Earth and elsewhere, the Avengers had been secretly assembled by director Nick Fury in the weeks prior, to fight the battles that S.H.I.E.L.D. never could. Just two years later, however, Steve Rogers, known to the world as Captain America, discovered that Hydra had not been completely destroyed during World War II, and instead had infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. at nearly every level. With S.H.I.E.L.D. granted renewed resources following the Battle of New York, Hydra intended to take command of a new generation of helicarriers and use them to kill over 20 million individuals deemed a threat to their future plans. 
Together with Director Fury and others, Steve Rogers was able to prevent Hydra from enacting its plans. But the effort destroyed S.H.I.E.L.D.'s headquarters and their most sensitive information was leaked to the public. With the full extent of Hydra's manipulation still unknown, S.H.I.E.L.D. was disavowed by its sponsor governments, and its remaining agents were subject to a worldwide manhunt. Scattered groups still loyal to the ideals of S.H.I.E.L.D. continued their work from an assortment of secret bases, slowly gathering their resources with the aim of eventually re-establishing the organization. Agent Coulson, a longtime associate of Nick Fury, was most responsible for this effort, recruiting mercenaries, former agents, and others to help fill his ranks. Together with these S.H.I.E.L.D. loyalists, Coulson continued the fight against HYDRA, rival S.H.I.E.L.D. factions, and far more dangerous threats that loomed on the edges of time and space. Eventually, Coulson was appointed as S.H.I.E.L.D.'s new director by Nick Fury, and legitimized again following the signing of the Sokovia Accords, which regulated the activities of enhanced individuals. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s return cost Coulson his position, who resigned to keep his existence secret. S.H.I.E.L.D. was founded with a simple mission, to protect mankind. Across its history, that mission has expanded to include superhuman powers, extra-dimensional forces, and alien empires. It has been destroyed, restored, and destroyed again. But S.H.I.E.L.D. is more than just a name or an emblem. Like the Avengers, it is an idea. So long as men and women remain loyal to that idea, S.H.I.E.L.D. will remain. The Templin Institute investigates alternate worlds and realities. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to directly support us, vote in polls to determine future topics, and receive some cool rewards, please consider pledging to our Patreon page.